Hi guys, welcome to AC Technical. In this video, we will explore some common reasons why your laptop might be running slow and how to fix it. As you can see guys, this laptop has a U-series low power CPU and it is currently running Windows 11 without any issues. Here I'll show you 6 proper fixes that can surely help to speed up your laptop performance and also it will help to run your laptop more efficiently. So let's get started. To optimize your computer's performance swiftly and effortlessly, prioritize cleaning out unnecessary data and cached memory from your hard disk. This simple step serves as the most effective initial approach, allowing you to reclaim lost performance. Accumulated over time, temporary files clog up your hard drive, impeding its speed and hindering smooth access to essential data. Therefore, beginning with this basic maintenance task can significantly enhance your system efficiency. To do that, go to Windows Search and type Cleanup and then click on Disk Cleanup when you see it appears in the search result. In the Disk Cleanup dialog box, be sure the C drive is selected and click on OK. Check all the boxes. Ok, now click on System Files Cleanup button and click on OK. Now check all this box and simply click on OK. Then click on Delete Files button to confirm and start the deletion process. Once you have decluttered your hard drive, the subsequent action entails uninstalling unnecessary programs. Beyond occupying significant storage space, installed programs frequently initiate background processes that contribute to slow performance. Therefore, uninstalling redundant application is essential for optimizing system speed and efficiency. To begin the process, go to Windows Search and search for uninstall and then opt for the add or remove program from the search results. Navigate through the list of the programs displayed at the bottom of the window. Identify any unnecessary program and click on them and choose uninstall option. Now proceed by following any provided instruction on your screen for removal process. After uninstallation, Windows may prompt you to restart your system. If prompted, select the option to restart later. Return to the list of programs and continue uninstalling any additional programs that are no longer required. Once you have finished uninstalling the desired program, proceed to restart your laptop to finalize the process. Numerous programs initiate automatically upon laptop startup and continue to operate in the background. Although this feature may offer convenience, and optimize certain program functionalities, but it invariably diminishes overall laptop performance. That's why it is advisable to minimize the number of programs configured to launch at startup to mitigate the slowdown effect. To disable unnecessary services and startup programs, press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the run dialog. Type msconfig and press enter. This will open system configuration utility. In the system configuration window, click on services tab. Please note, before disabling any services, it's generally recommended to hide all Microsoft services to avoid accidentally disabling critical system services. Check the box next to hide all Microsoft services at the bottom left corner of the window. This will hide all the Microsoft related services leaving third party services visible. Please note when disabling services, only disable services that you are sure are unnecessary and safe to disable because disabling critical system services can cause system instability or malfunctions. Next click on startup tab in the system configuration window or go to windows search and search for startup apps. Now review the list of startup programs. 
these are applications and utilities that launch automatically when you start your computer. Now you can disable any startup programs that you want to disable. Similarly, please note when disabling startup programs. Disabling essential startup programs can impact the functionality of certain application or services. Once you have finished disabling unnecessary services and startup programs, click on apply button. Then click on ok to close the system configuration window. Now windows will prompt you to restart your computer to apply the changes. Now click on restart button to restart your computer. Optimizing power settings to favor performance over energy savings in your laptop's power management settings can help improve the overall performance of your device, especially during resource intensive tasks such as gaming or video editing. Here you can adjust the power settings to prioritize the performance. You can access the power option by right clicking on the battery icon and selecting power and sleep settings. In the power options, look for the power plan or mode called high performance or best performance or something similar. Note, selecting this mode typically prioritizes performance over energy efficiency. If you don't see any high performance or best performance power plan, then you may need to create one by going to control panel then power option. Disabling visual effects on your Windows PC can improve performance by reducing the strain on the system resources, particularly the CPU, GPU and RAM. Let's check how. Visual effects such as transparency, animations and shadows require GPU processing power. Disabling these effects lighten the load on the GPU, allowing it to focus on the rendering essential graphics resulting in smooth overall performance especially in graphically intensive tasks like gaming or video editing. Certain visual effects such as animated windows and menus require CPU resources to render smoothly. Disabling these effects reduce the CPU workload, filling up processing power for other tasks. This can lead to faster response time and improve multitasking performance. Visual effects often consume system memory to store graphical elements and animations. By disabling unnecessary effects, you free up RAM that can be used by application and processes, reducing the likelihood of slowdown and system crashes due to insufficient memory. Increase system stability. Visual effects can sometimes introduce bugs or compatibility issues with certain applications or drivers. Disabling these effects can help mitigate such issues leading to more stable computing experience. To do that, go to Windows Search and search for Advanced System Settings and click on it. This will open the System Properties window. In the System Properties window, navigate to the Advanced tab. Under the Performance section, click on Settings button. This will open the Performance Option window. In the Performance Options window, you will see a list of visual effects settings that Windows uses for various graphics elements such as let windows choose what's best for my computer which allows windows automatically adjust the visual effects based on your windows system performance adjust for the best appearance this will enable all the visual effects for the best appearance adjust for the best performance this option helps to disable most visual effects to prioritize performance and custom. This option allows you to manually select which visual effects to enable or disable. To disable most visual effects and optimize performance, select adjust for best performance. If you prefer to customize which visual effects to disable, choose the customize option. Here you can individually enable or disable specific visual effects by checking or unchecking the corresponding checkboxes. After making your selection, click apply and then OK to apply the changes. Now restart your computer to apply the new visual effect settings. Choose the lightweight antivirus program that consumes fewer system resources while providing adequate protection against malware.
Lightweight antivirus software often runs with minimal background processes, meaning they don't continuously use system resources when running in the background. This allows your computer to run smoothly without experiencing lag or delays caused by antivirus processes. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.